Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Hearts Covenant. Last time we finished up the first half. And then I take a short little break for two reasons. One, I needed the break. Two, it kind of lines up with how the story goes. So let's load this up and let's see what's going to happen next. Kato was doing some interesting things last time. Three months after Nikolai released the pent-up malice of a pointed tower. The war's brutality escalated quickly with the use of chemical weapons. But the battlefield changed little, with both sides becoming more and more entrenched. Meanwhile, Yuri and his friends followed Special Agent Kato back to Japan to stop Nikolai, now possessed by Astaroth. And so, the stage shifts to the east. In the first Shadow Hearts game, we began our trip in the east. We were in China for a good chunk of things. Then we went to Europe. This time we begin in Europe and we head to Japan. Let's go to the brick warehouses. They do give you an option there to uh, adjust your inventory if you need to. But you shouldn't. Well, how is he? He's sleeping, but I don't think he's getting any better. We've come all the way to Japan. And yet there's nothing we can do. What if... What if he dies on us? Mm. Why do you always have to say things like that? Oh, come on. Show me somebody that's in danger of dying from seasickness. Remember the first game. He was fine in the airship. He's an odd one, all right. That stupid airship didn't have any oomph anyway. It wasn't my fault. But you were the one that crash landed the ship. We let her fly? It was an emergency landing. Anyway, there was a cute little mother and baby bear. I wanted to see them. <laughs> I blame this all on us. Probably yeah. still fixing it, surrounded by those bears. We let her Deep fly. The woods of Hokkaido. What the hell is wrong with us? Yeah, he may already be dead. Lucia, why are you in this game? Are you going to contribute anything at all? Aside from in battle. In battle, you're beyond broken levels of awesome. Which we haven't really gotten into yet. We seem to have all gotten kind of down. But we will. Mm, you're right. Anyway, we don't have any reason to think that he's dead. Other than Besides, you talking about nothing it. there's nothing we can do. Let's just take it easy until Yuri is back on his feet. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh -huh. Karen, you're missing something there. <laughs> uh, video game? You forgot to animate her legs. <laughs> hey, I'm controlling Blanca. Yes. I always like controlling Blanca. Blanca is the best. Dandy's kimono. Hey, look, we found new gear. Yuri, how's it going? You are sleeping it off. Yeah, didn't think you were going to have a good time with that. The only two that are really worried about Yuri. Well, <laughs> everyone else is just kind of talking. Can't sit here forever. Gotta go find something or other. Everything's so new and exciting, huh? Okay, so why did they do a whole bunch of this stuff off screen? Uh, this is why I was saying as we started the episode that it kind of made sense that I took my break when I did. Uh, there's a natural time jump here that, you know, stuff happens and we hear about it secondhand, but we never get to experience. So it's kind of weird that way. Stop wandering around, get some rest. Now, what we got there is a dandy's kimono, as you can see. Big boost in terms of defense. So let's uh, take a quick look at that. I'm 
never heard of that gang before, but sure. Chivalrous spirit, huh? Makes them resistant to the pain of sword wounds. <laughs> if you insist, video game. <laughs> uh, we have the step doubler. Now, this is why they give you access to the menu before you come in here is, well, we don't have access to our full inventory right now for reasons that are never explained. So you're basically just stuck with whatever, uh, whoever had things. You don't even have access to any additional crests. Game's kind of rude that way. Anyway, we got one item. There are seven more we can get for now and then an additional one later on. And I don't remember where they all are. And since I haven't played the game in a couple weeks, since I took my little, little rest there, I don't remember how to play the video game. Maybe we'll see. Hello. Well, that was interesting. I control him? Why do I control him? Young swordsman with zero MP and a small amount of SP. Got decent HP though. Well, he does enough damage to... Whoa, what the hell? They get so many hits. These guys suck. I'm not even going to bother trying to perfect uh, this guy's ring here. Not a good idea. Okay, I'll do it. Fine. If you insist, video game. I was not planning that at all. Oops, I skipped over his dialogue. God, that's a bad app. Hey, where'd all my money go? I spent all that time in the last few episodes building up my money. I got no money. But then again, I guess that's probably his money. Oh. Can't afford to waste time, huh? I believe you're allowed to just watch and then the battle goes on with the young swordsman fighting all of them on his own but I believe eventually you're forced to help. So we're just gonna go straight for it and make life easy. Um, also, uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna combo up on Blanca there since we can, why not? And let's see if we can hit a couple. Uh, these guys have 82 HP, if I remember correctly, and they are earth-based, so Blanca should be able to annihilate them pretty quickly here. Oh yeah, more than enough damage. And there we go. Easy enough. One, because our hearts were strong. Because your hearts were strong, huh? Hmm, Blanca leveled up. More. Okay, we'll fight another group of them. They keep coming in groups of like six and we fight three. Just kind of weird, but whatever. The video game wants to be a video game, so we'll let it. And again, we'll have uh, Blanca finish them off. You don't really want to let them get their shots off. For whatever reason, I when I got to this point in the game in my test run, I was missing the ring a bunch, and I just kept hearing that rapid-fire gunshot sound effect, and it just started to grate on my nerves. So every time I hear it, I just get annoyed. Uh, so I'm going to try and do my best to avoid hearing it, so I just want to kill the enemies as quickly as possible. You're going to get going. 
Well, I think Blanc is going to uh, go follow you around for a little bit. I didn't move, by the way. The game moved itself, and now the game will let me move. Let's go into the menu, take a quick look at what we have to work with here. As you can see, his physical attack power is substantial. He is uh, pretty powerful. He has a different kind of equipment. An area near Kyoto, mothers spend several years making these for their son's coming of age ceremonies. Oh, cool. He also comes uh, with the next level up uh, mask, which is the physical defense variant, and the next level up belt, which in this case is a loin guard, which is the physical and now also a little bit of special attack variant. So let's take a look at this. Where is filled with strength when he wears it? Okay. You insist, video game. What else we got? So it's a uh, standard kendo gear. Works for me. Next thing. One. Technical. Thank you, video game. Now I can do his ring. <laughs> I still suck at his ring, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, personal. I'm trying to remember if there's a spoiler in here or not. Brave young swordsman trails his master and his master's daughter like a shadow. He's always there to protect them with his life. Okay, so we get an idea of kind of what he's about. And he cannot use crest magic. Interesting. Not that I have any spare crests to offer him, but uh, there's that. All right, now I believe there are random battles around here. I should have looked up where we can go. Um, let's see, we got more of the same. Uh, we will combo up and we will do normal attacks. Show off what this guy's uh, attack looks like here. And I'm terrible at it. This is probably why I did a lot of missing when I got here in my test run because I just don't like the placement of that. It's so late in the ring. It's like at the very end and it's really, really terrible. Uh, can I hit both? I cannot hit both. Let's try this one more time. That's better. Really video game? You just want me to hear that sound effect more, don't you? One more time, video game. Let's go. This battle should have been over in two seconds. Ah, I missed. And I believe, yeah, that's just shy of the amount of damage I need to actually kill the guy. So we get to hear the sound effect again. Fun. Also, you know, video game logic applies here. Uh, so even though the guy is shot 15, or, you know, the dog is shot 15 times, he's still fine. There we go. You can't afford to lose now. Filament is a rare drop from these guys, and it's an older weapon for Geppetto uh, that we already saw a long time ago. I'm not sure why they have it. But they do. Let's go in here. Seal of speed, so that would be item number two. And what else is in here? There's three. I believe there's only two in this room, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it looks like only two. I thought there was a map for this area, but I guess not. Oh, there's chest. Let's go get that. All right, in that battle that I did off screen, I went to uh, check and now I have an idea of where all the uh, items are in this area. However, without crest magic, oh, I do have cure, good. 
But if you go into items, you'll notice that um, things aren't as they're supposed to be. We have the uh, Young Swordsman's list of items here, as well as his money for this, uh, you know, right now. And so all of these items are, I guess, his for the moment. Seems kind of odd that we would find items if we're, you know, not going to be able to keep them. But uh, let's uh, heal everybody up with Cure Spell. If you don't have the Cure Spell, you can use the Thera Roots. That's fine. Uh, up here, we have, I believe this will be our fourth item, which is a new... Oh, excuse me, a new crest. I don't believe this one is something I'm going to give you. Uh, actually, it is. Oh, look at that. Gale Spike, level three spell. So we'll give you that. So you now have access to a new uh, spell. So that's nice. And we're going to hop back up on here. This is the uh, door we went into. And if we drop all the way down here, there should be a second door that we can go into. It's the southern one. Uh, they're one of the reasons why the pedometer set up on, uh, on Blanca here is so that we would get credit for all the steps around here. Yeah, that one. Okay, I missed the ring once in that fight which is acceptable. The game missed three times on its own when I hit the ring. Small jug here, that's what well, we had, four, five, six items. And here is number seven. Hit area expand. And that's everything for this uh, little room here. All the enemies around here are the same. The uh, Akagi soldier. We don't know much about them. Uh, now we want to go over to the side here. You'll notice a save point as well as a treasure chest. And in that treasure chest, we get a silver rasp, a new weapon for Blanca. So we got you new armor and a new weapon in this episode. Would you look at that? Going to save real quick. Okay, now that we're all saved up, just want to head over here. That's a long, drawn-out master, but okay. We will show one more of these fights, even though they're all basically the same fight. And be careful, because the game is rude. Turn the camera. Yeah, it looks like you're targeting a single guy. You were not. You were targeting one of those. I lost uh, the ability to uh, take them all out in one turn earlier. I missed by a mile. Oh, I got barely got the kill. Perfect. I'll take that. Uh, Gale Spin. I should have shown Gale Spike. That was a good opportunity. Not that it matters, but... Would have been worthwhile. Simple enough. So, is it over? Yes. It's all right. Karando has removed the threat of the bandits. The young swordsman has a name. Are you hurt? I'm fine, princess. Karando, who is this? I don't know. He just appeared out of nowhere to help me out. An unusual benefactor, I'd say. He certainly does look like a smart one. Yes. Thank you. What's your name, boy? Okay. You're white. So I'll call you Snowball. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. I think he likes it. <laughs> yeah. My enemies must be very impatient to send their assassins here. Don't you think so? Snowballs, you should be careful. Our enemies will try to strike at you. While you're away from the capital, you'll be vulnerable. I think we're safe enough. After all, we've got you, isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> Still, how very rude of them, don't you think? They could at least let a man visit a graveyard in peace. <laughs> uh, you're not at a graveyard. Well, shall we go? 
The inn is just over there. Yes. You have my gratitude for saving us. <laughs> well, instead of that, <laughs> I'm not sure what uh, Blanc is after right now. So long, Snowball. <laughs> I want to start calling him Snowball now. If I remember, I will start calling him Snowball. Hi, Snowball. It was animated there before. It was just very difficult to see. I was looking for it on the ground amid all the... Textures. We get the colorful comb. Interesting. Yuri, you're awake. I've got all my items back. Now, did I have a seal of speed before? Did I get all those items? Ah, we'll figure it out in two time. Everyone's worried about him. So yeah, what exactly happened last time? Thank goodness you're alive. Um, better get moving. Now here's the thing. Yuri's just up. They didn't have any type of a scene. They really didn't show that he was distressed other than putting an arrow in the uh, scene earlier when people talked about him. They didn't show him groggily getting up. They just kind of were pretty lazy with that whole sequence. But um, yeah, anyway, that's pretty much all the time we have for today. Uh, I found when I was recording that last week there where I was typically doing 20 to 25 minute episodes, what I was always used to doing anyway, is it was working a little better for me in terms of trying to keep up. So I think I'm going to uh, try and go with that. The reason the episodes had been longer up until now is I was trying to kind of keep plot points together and I'm still going to attempt to do that. But I think that uh, doing it this way, um, I'll hopefully be able to be more concise and stop uh, meandering around and getting lost on tangents. At least that's the hope. We'll, we'll see how well this works. Anyway, that's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.